Hey guys, it's John here again. Right, this video is all about. Oh, I'm dropping something there. All about a certain album that turns 30 today. And um, it's one hell of a killer album. And it is uh, Skid Row's uh, self titled debut. I'll take it out of there because the glare is terrible. There you go. In all its glory. What an amazing album. Um, this album, I was. I remember just after, obviously, it came out. I remember seeing 18 and Life on. Um, uh, what was it? I think it was. Might have been Top of the Pops or some rock rock program or something, and uh, and I just was wow, what what is that song, man? Who is this amazing band? And <clears throat> that was uh, yeah, sorry, eighteen and life. My other copy, eighteen and life. And my other copy, 18 and Life. I think one of those might have, that one's got a patch in it. The other one, the other two don't. And I think it is in there. Oh yeah, and it's uh, not an, a tattoo, and often like they put a tattoo in one of the other records, which I think was I Remember You, or something like that, or maybe one of the singles off the next album. But in this one, you actually got, if I can get it out, you actually got a proper material uh, patch there, um, which is very hard to find these days in some of these records, because back then everybody was putting them on their jackets and, and school bags and or rock sacks type thing, you know. Um, but yeah. That was 18 and Life, that introduced me to Skid Row. Um, actually, it was uh, this song, I Remember You, which was off of um, the self-titled, and that's the one with the tattoo in there, and I think that's in there as well. Yes, it is. It's in there. Skid Row. And I think I've, I think I've got another one of these somewhere with a tattoo in it. I'm not too sure. I thought I had two of them. I only pulled out one. But um, yeah, that's the only two singles I've got from that album, uh, the self-titled. Um, two CDs of the first album. Um, but back in. 89 I didn't have a huge amount of money to go out and buy so many albums so I was a little bit late picking it up and I picked it up probably 1990 um, I think in a bargain bin and I picked up the vinyl in a bargain bin I can't remember if this is my original um, I know I've got I think I've got two of these, but one of them is, I pulled this one off of, from over there on my other rack, uh, just because it was handy. Um, but back then, I uh, pulled it out of a bargain bin, um, and it was mega cheap, it was like a, cop, uh, a quid or so, and I was like, wow, I've got to have that. I knew the song 18 and Life, obviously. And I thought, right, I'm going to go and take a chance and listen to this when I got home. <coughs> <coughs> it was one of my first LPs I bought with my own money. Or it was the first LP with my own money. Um, <coughs> <coughs> and um, yeah, um, it was 88, eight, sorry, 89, 90 time because the album came out in 89. And... I I put it on when I got home and it never came off my turntable for a long time. And back then I only had about 
five cassettes of you know Def Leppard, um, Europe. Um, who else? Brian Adams, uh, White Snake, stuff like that. Um, and then you know when I got this, um, none of those other things got played for a while. This was actually mate, absolutely amazing. Yes, I got my my father would bang on the ceiling and say turn that shit off and I'd be like whatever a bit bit worse than that, actually um but yeah and uh it's a good row um 30 years old already um <coughs> <coughs> oh god jeez sorry um but the tracks on here you know opens with big guns absolutely killer uh, Sweet Little Sister, Can't Stand the Heartache, brilliant. Peace of Me was amazing. 18 and Life is amazing. Rattlesnake Shake, I can do without so much. Youth Gone Wild is awesome. Here I Am was always one of my favourites. Um, Making a Mess was also <laughs> one of my favourites. Uh, I Remember You, yes, it's okay. You can get on your wick after a while. Midnight Tornado, what awesome. That is so awesome, that song. <laughs> That's probably one of the best songs on here. But yeah, um, just killer. Uh, definitely nearly a 10 out of 10 album. Um, actually, I'd say 9.9 .9 for me. Um, you know, just because Rattlesnake Shake gets on my wick. But yeah, there you go. Uh, that is Skid Row's self-titled. Happy birthday, Skid Row. Skid Row. And um, yes. Oh, my ACDC banner is still up. You'll know what I mean when you see my next video, which was recorded before this one. But I thought I want to get this one out before the other, because the other one was longer and it was going to take ages to get up. And Skid Row's birthday is today, so... Hopefully you see this today. If not, maybe you'll be around for the 40th. I might not be doing YouTube then, but, you know. See you later. See ya.